Hi there. Now for this question then, we were given this integral and asked to use the substitution x equals 2 sine theta to get the exact value. And it turns out that that exact value then is root 3 upon 4. I'll take you through the method just in case there were any problems. So we start with the substitution x equals 2 sine theta. And I need to replace this dx here. So we differentiate what we're given here with respect to theta. dx by d theta then equals 2 cos theta. And then I rearrange it and dx would equal 2 cos theta d theta. And we can then substitute that in place of dx here as 2 cos theta d theta. The other substitutions are in here. We replace the x with 2 sine theta, and so if you square it, you're going to get 4 sine squared theta here. We also need to change the limits as well. So when x is naught, we just substitute that into our value for x here. So we end up with 2 sine theta equals 0, so that leads to theta equaling 0. We do the same when x equals root 3. We have 2 sine theta equals root 3, leading to sine theta equals root 3 over 2. Inverse sine that, we're looking for the exact values in radians, so that's pi upon 3. The equivalent of 60 degrees, okay? But we need to keep it as pi upon 3. So I've changed the limits here and made the substitution. So it's just a question now of cleaning this up. So I've pulled out... 4 as a common factor in the denominator here, but because it's all to the power 3 over 2, we end up with 4 to the power 3 over 2 multiplied with the 1 minus sine squared theta all to the power 3 over 2. And then if I take the square root of 4, which is 2, cube it, I get 8. And 1 minus sine squared theta is the same as cos squared theta. And then you can see I've cancelled through by 2 to give me a quarter here. And in the denominator here, if we take the square root of cos squared theta, we end up with cos theta. Cube it, I've got cos cubed theta in the denominator. Cos theta over cos cubed theta reduces down to 1 over the cos squared theta here. And 1 over cos squared theta is sec squared theta. And that's convenient because when you integrate sec squared theta, it's tan theta. So substitute your limits in, pi upon 3 and 0. Do the subtraction. Tan of 0 is 0. The tan of pi upon 3 is exactly root 3. So times it with the quarter and you've got root 3 over 4. Okay?